I don't know why that's still not working. I'm going to have to fix that before the next stream. But that's okay. Welcome in. Today we're going to be making some brushes to help aid me in the new series of paintings. Uh, I need to get some patterns down so I don't have to draw a million books, for example. That's going to be our first one. So uh, let me queue up some nice winter music for to see Lo-Fi Geek because it's been for a while. Okay, and here we go. So I've got my blank canvas and we're going to draw a book. And maybe even I need to draw like two or three variations. So that way they're not all like the same. So let me get my sketcher. And we'll just kind of pattern out um, kind of what we want these three books to be. It's okay if they have some space between them. I think I'll actually just put them flush against one another. Okay, we could have one where the writing's like this. We could have one where it's like this. And then maybe like a picture of some sort. I'll just put a tree for now. And uh, let's see. We could do one where it's both top and bottom. In like another picture. Those aren't going to be the images. I'm just kind of working out an idea. Okay, so I'm going to get my stable brush and let's make some rectangles. I'm going to turn down this first layer though. First things first, I'm going to make them a little larger. I think I want it to take up most of the screen. I think that would be best. thickness too so let's have the first one kind of thin and then we'll have the second one be a little thick and then the next one we'll have it just kind of somewhere in between those two Make the round bottoms. These books tend to curve on their spine. They're usually not perfectly square unless it's like a, a comic that's designed to be that way. But I'm thinking more old library book kind of thing. Gonna edit that curve a little. I'm only 
definitely going to do the book bases. I will go through and add uh, different variations as I need to in the paintings themselves, depending on the position. Trying to get a flat line here. Okay, and I don't think I want actual written language on these. So let me go into my calligraphy brush. And let's do some good old fantasy nonsense. I think then I will go and decorate their spines. Whoop, gotta switch to freaking. I just noticed I wrote this kind of on a walk, so. Let's get that a little straightened. create a new layer to work on the decorations for. Let's see this one, one of those really nice just curly designs. a double line. Oops, I have a habit of doing that. Random smudges. Goodness! I forgot to turn my brush down. Well, I kind of have to work with this now. That's what I started with. This is what we're going to get. Okay, I think that's fine for the first book. one's gonna have a image so let's kind of decide what it should be we can do something ornate or sometimes some old books would just have like a circle with like a an image in it maybe we'll just do a little silhouette base That feel was a little too strong. And we'll just get in and fill in the the edges there where they didn't quite mesh. Okay. 
Maybe we'll make the circle a little more ornate. Like a mirror. Okay, and now the third one. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of that reference. Merge these two down because I think they're fine. Maybe we'll make this one a little smaller and kind of make it like an encyclopedia. So let's do a couple lines. I need to finish. Let redo that last shape. I wasn't a fan of it. Like this. I think I need to change this middle section here real quick. It's not quite lined up where I'd like it. to duplicate this because this is going to be the dual one and I think I'll flip it. And then let's get an image in there. Kind of drawing a blank. Maybe since it's an encyclopedia. We'll kind of get some lines in here. Kind of like a half circle thing going. looking very lopsided. <laughs> I think I kind of like it. Let's make it like a platypus. Kind of the beaver tail. The duck bill. Kind of get its little feet here. Kind of erase where this tangent is. I've got room. Let's do uh, another book. a couple in so maybe we could get some comics in there. I gotta think how that's gonna look on this shelf stack. 
I think it'll be fine. So we'll make them like half the height. Let's get some like American comic. They're really thin. Kind of like magazines. They don't really have anything on their binding. And since it's on its own layer, I'm just going to copy it over a couple times. And then let's do the manga. And these ones are quite square. And then they usually have like a number here. Or a company logo, depending on which company you're going to get from. Sometimes they do a little character down here. line real quick. And then like a, a name. We'll make this one a bubbly one. I'll duplicate this over and get some variations in there. We'll assume they're part of the same series. So let's keep the name, change the stand in for the number. Let's change the character portrait. Let me change to my wild eraser. That assisted one's a little too assisted for what we're doing here. Get a third one in and then call it good.
Okay, and now I'm just gonna do some cleanup work in some of these lines. Like here. I'm gonna turn my brush size down. Okay, I'm gonna do a canvas flip just to do a check. Okay, they are a little wonkish, so let's fix that. That's one of my art weaknesses. Drawing on a wonk is my default. <laughs> it will flip it again. I think I need to do a little bit more adjusting. I'm gonna start with the whole image. This arch here is not in proper alignment. So let's get a new one. Okay, I think that's better. Let me just fix this corner here. Okay, that seems much better. One more time. Okay, I can kind of see the platypus one is also out of alignment. need to be fixed a little to fit the new alignment. I think it's in a place where I like it. Now we make a brush shift. And please be patient with me because I'm still new at making brushes. I forgot to do something. Uh, come here. all uh, I think it's shape behavior edit import base okay invert done Okay, yeah, we need to do some adjustments. Don't want scatter or rotation. Count, maybe? What's a count fitter? Since I kind of all want them in a line, um, I don't think we need to have scatters or jitters on because we kind of want them all just to be in line with each other. this. Um, and figure out what we want to do. 
don't want a green. Spacing up. Okay, that put it kind of in a place where we want it. Gonna lower the spacing until it's kind of in a place where they don't really overlap. Uh, let's clear this. Make a straight line. About there. I think I'll make a couple different brushes like this with a couple different book sets. That way we can vary it up in the final final drawing. Uh, we won't mess with stabilization quite just yet. Never mind, I changed my mind. Because I want them to kind of be a straight line most of the time, we should probably have stabilization way up. Okay, yeah. That would be best. Uh, no taper. Uh, we did the shape, everything's fine there. Rendering, I usually do, um, blending, but since this is more a stamp brush, I guess it's good to not do that. Uh, color dynamics. It would only be changing the color of the lines. So that probably won't be of too much use in this situation. Uh, no speed dynamics. No opacity dynamics. And I just realized something. I want these to be filled with color. Whatever color I choose. So we need to switch this. It needs to be normal, not inverted. That way it fills around what the brush is. Mm, it's gonna leave me with big blocks. Okay. There's gonna be another workaround somewhere. So this is the better of the two options. Okay. Properties. Let's change the maximum size. Let's say 300. And that way we can shrink it if we need to um, and have it as large as we need to without ruining the, the line pixels. And then we'll name it. Uh, We'll say books and comics. Okay, now we've got... Why did it say untitled? Did it not say? Oh, no, I did that on Made by Pet. Properties, maybe? Here we go. Face. Really? Okay, cut. I copied. Looks and comment. Done. Okay. Let me go over to the piece this is going to be used in and we'll test it out. 
So this piece is going to have this big, huge curved library. So let's get a new layer. So yeah, that brush starts out a fairly decent size. I can set them as far apart and close together as I want. Okay. Yes, this is going to help me so much. <laughs> oh, it's going to save me so much time. Okay, I just need to get a couple more variations on this uh, into play. So let's duplicate this. And come into here and let's cut off the comics. And we'll make this more like educational books instead of um, recreational books. Whoops, I forgot I'm still on that brush. Let's uh, clear out the filling of these as well. I think what I'll do is I'll do these as like manuals, technical manuals and stuff, and then we'll do one that's like an encyclopedia set. And then that should be enough variation. Maybe one with just comics. Okay, I'm just going to go through and clear these up. Sorry for hitting my mic with my stylus. Okay, and then let's fix the binding shape here. And then this one too. I didn't realize that pattern had leaked out of the book's binding uh, line. And the last one. Okay, and uh, I'm going to flip this whole thing just so it's not as uniform as the other one. And I even think I'll duplicate. We'll flip this one. Okay, maybe I'll get rid of this one. Okay, let's do... Yeah, we'll do a normal one. Kind of there. I'm not gonna get rid of the others.
I just need to kind of get it into place a little better and then let's do one of the thin ones so instead of doing the whole thing I think I'll just circle it and then I'll cut away the excess uh, copy paste and real quick I'm just going to move all these over a smidge so they're not just like absolutely touching that edge over there uh, let's come here and clean this up I'm in the wrong layer aren't I gotta take a second to moisten myself and uh, I'm gonna have to pause the music to do that Cam added some nice feedback for that. So that people know when I'm absorbing water. She doesn't know if the silence would uh would put off some people. Okay. We've got our new set here. Uh, let's decide where they're going to look like. So these are technical manuals. We can give each of them an icon about what they're about. I think we'll leave the encyclopedia stuff to be like plants and anatomy and such. So let's make these ones... Uh, some other variation of education. I'm gonna do a new layer and I'm going to just sketch out a couple possibilities. Maybe this one can have um, an infinity with like a positive and negative on each side. This could be like a math manual. This one could be a psychology. Let's see, what would a thin manual be? Let's have like computer. Let's have a computer mouse. An old timey computer mouse with a wire. Because at this point the character is still a child so that manual wouldn't be as thick as it would be for a more advanced person. Um. There's a thin one over here too. And we've got one more kind of in the middle. I wasn't quite sure what I was drawing there. I was just drawing lines. Okay, we've got math. Psychology, computer knowledge. Maybe we'll make this one like an old timey person with one of them rolling wigs. It's like a history. Maybe we'll give him a little death cap. Okay, 
Okay, and then the last one. Let's make it food. Let's make it a pizza. Why not? Okay, so that's what I'll go with. With those themes in mind, I will now make these book bindings. Make sure I'm on a new layer. Sometimes I forget. I'll do the symbols first. Gonna distort this to make it more even. To make up for my shortcomings as an artist. Okay, and then let's kind of center this into the book. These ones can have a very pop art kind of alien language name. Try and make math all cool and hit. Get one of those. And I'm happy enough with that for now. So let's merge them. I'm going to move that one below both layers so I could just merge these easier later on. Okay, now I need a burn. A human brain. I think that kind of shape like this in cartoons and stuff. It's a little brain stem. I kind of got these wiggly noodly parts to them. Good practice because this is one of the pattern brushes that I need to make. Kind of simulate brain wrinkles. Bodies are weird. Hey, cryptic! Sorry, I didn't see you if you were here earlier. Thank you for stopping by. Let me give you a shout out. I'm making a brain. How's your day been? Can't type today. Can't function! Don't worry guys, I got the cinematic view. At least someone has a cinematic You know, it loves this clip too. I I'm just stuck here. It's better than the floor view. <laughs> kind of makes me wish the game was in third person because... Or at least a better view than that, um, the original type. Because it looks like an awesome game. The cinematic view. Cryptic Mimic, seeing all things. Okay, let me backtrack here. 
in the music because it skipped forward due to my drinking. I was in the walls! The walls have eyes and their name is cryptic. Let's try to get some vaguely brain shaped stuff up in here. having a great winter. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. My brain's a little fried, but uh, we're making pattern brushes for Procreate. I've already made one of them. Um, so I made this one that's a mixture of comics and stuff, and it makes it so easy. I'm going to do a library scene, so um, this makes it much easier to place down a bunch of books. And so it's like a stamp where I could just place a couple where I want them. Or I can make a line of them. And then I can adjust how close and far they are from each other in the book stacks. Uh, so right now I'm just working on some variations of that uh, pattern. So now we're doing technical manuals and then we'll move into encyclopedias. But overall, good. Uh, how are you doing? I hope you've been having a fantastic winter. I know you don't really experience winter where you are. It just gets a little colder. So uh, look out for the falling uh, chameleons, I guess. I'm doing good. That's good. For those of you who may be uh, not privy to things in the United States, uh, we call those lizards snow. <laughs> um, in Florida, there's a bunch of invasive uh, tropical species that were imported as pets and uh, released into the wild when the owners felt like they couldn't take care of them. Uh, this is bad because they're not designed for the environment and they have no natural predators. But aside from that, when it gets cold, they get too cold to hang into the trees and they fall down and hit people in the head sometimes. And uh, there are clubs and groups if you're in the Florida area that you can find uh, via social media that specifically go lizard hunting this time of year to um, try and... Uh, prevent them from falling on someone and hopefully get them to a place where they won't be so damaging to the environment. Uh, but it's not just chameleons where that happens. I know iguanas have the same issue and an iguana is much larger than a chameleon. And a chameleon is much larger than you think. Like a uh, a full-grown adult chameleon can be quite quite the handful. Uh, so getting hit with these things is not ideal for a human body. And it's not ideal for the critter either. The hippocampus is kind of a different texture. than the rest of the human brain. And we just need to get a couple things over here and I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's center it a little better. We'll make them all like part of the same kind of series, I think. So we'll give them the same basic pattern. Need to fix this uh, curve. We'll make the, the same basic pattern. Um, and then we'll just like change up the ty typography a little. So let's make uh, this here. 
kind of the the company, so to say. And we'll copy it to all the books. And let's squish it so it fits on these thinner ones. Because that's kind of what they would do in a normal book anyway. I didn't realize that there's a little bit of these um, leftover bits here I need to fix. all those down. Let's get in the basic uh, lines as well. Yes, again. <laughs> okay. I need to pay better attention to how I'm doing these curves and stuff. And this time we're going to be smart. We're going to do it on a different layer. Uh, brain can go down onto the next layer though. Until it's on a walk. I need to bring it down a little. It's gonna take me a second to get all these where I want them, probably. Serious work. I'm gonna have to. I may have to get a grid into place to help. Nothing wrong with a little extra help. Let's go and do that. Drawing guide. Okay, 
Okay, those ones are good. We'll merge those ones down, get a new layer. Rinse and repeat. So we're at where we need to be. I may go through and enlarge those images. are looking good. Let's go in here and enlarge these. Same with the brain. And now we can move on to uh, the next part. Computer mouse, that's pretty easy. They're kind of egg shaped. The old timey ones kind of look like this. And they've got the cable. Pizza one. That one's quick. This might get a little more appetizing than what I have. The doodle. So we'll have a crust and then we'll have it do the, the floppiness thing and then get some like cheese strip going. I'll just make it a classic pepperoni. That seems to be the go-to symbol of pizza. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a distort just to get this to fit a little better. be like a nutrition book or something. Okay, let's get the staunch uh, old guy in the death cap going.
Take that, uniform. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the grid. It's kind of messing with me. I'm gonna get rid of this base drawing. I think I just need to add... Or maybe change the position of these top ones and then we'll make the bottom ones like the specifics of the subject. So like kind of center these. one was not good. Cut off a lot of this last one. Okay, that should fix it. Okay, then gotta come and erase all those. little bits left behind. Okay, and let's get some subject littering down here. Fix this a little. I think I'll leave them separate for now in case I want to make adjustments before going into the final stages. Let's do the flip test real quick. 
okay, in a better place than the last one was. In fact, I don't think I have to make any changes at all. It looks pretty... pretty good. Okay. Now, let's go here. Nope. Copy all. New brush. Shape. Import. Paste. Invert. Okay. Turn up the spacing till it's just at the right area. Let's try 65. Yeah, I like 65 because I can adjust that. So we'll leave it with space. Stabilization, streamline 50, stabilization 100. Uh, make sure the paper's not there. Shape is good, grain is nil. Rendering nil, color dynamics, nope. Apple pencil, opacity off. And then about brush. We'll say. Manual book. I forgot to turn up the maximum size. I think we made the last one 300, so let's do the same. This is good. got our second variation. Let's see. We still got plenty of time. Let's do the encyclopedias and the comics. So let's just duplicate this. And the same thing as last time, we'll come in here and we'll clear away all this extra stuff. And actually, I think since they're encyclopedias, we'll just make them all big. So let's just kind of get the encyclopedia size all by itself. Minus these bigger chunks that need to be removed. Clean this up. sees this in the future if you see me looking this far down you need to give me a posture check i am in shrimp mode but not that far down if 
I'm in proper posture, I'm not, you know, scooching off the screen like this. Okay, uh, move this over. Duplicate, let's flip it. Duplicate. I really only have enough for three in this one. Maybe let's make them a little different size. Maybe like this. Maybe that'll allow for a full four. Uh, yeah, that does. Okay. at the very fancy kind of encyclopedias where they really kind of ornate. So this one could be the plant. Whoops. I need to make sure I'm on the right brush. So let's get like a set of flowers in here. Is like a crocus of sort. Kind of get a cherry blossom in here, maybe. the size later so it's all uniform and then let's get some leaves and they usually have a bunch of these wiggly lines somewhere. Let's decrease this a little more. And then here we'll put a very squiggly written word. I need to lower that on one side. Oh. Now, an artist's greatest fear a skeleton. I should probably do 
an episode like that when we come back. Drawing all the worst artist fears. Cars. Cowboy hat. Uh. Trains. Skeletons. Uh, what else? Horses. That's a big one. You can just try to get good at all the things that artists tend to struggle with. We'll just get a very cartoon skeleton up in here. Just do the one side and then patch it over. As it stands, the skeleton has a ridiculously long arm. Nope. Get rid of this. Okay, and then we could just copy this. Flip it. to do some work here. Just get a very rudimentary set of final bones. Okay, and merge down. Switch the skeleton. Let's push him down a little too so he's not like completely out of proportion. And some very cursive looking letters. We've got anatomy. Let's get an animal of some form. Let's 
to a rat. But like a really bean shaped rat. this kind of be the back of the rat. And then we need one more. history in the other one. I'm trying to avoid what I had in the others. Maybe like a geography. Get some mountains up in here. Maybe a prone volcano. Will of these be like hills? I could already tell it's on a walk. piece of land there. I am gonna fix this lettering here. Okay, I think all of these are fine. Let's do the flip. The rat is a little off, but I think everything else is fine. So let's adjust the rat.
There we go. Much better. Okay, that's looking good. Let's turn it into a brush. Copy all. Shape, edit, import, paste. Invert. Turn up the spacing. I think 70 is good for this one. Yeah. And then we'll just make it the same stabilization as the other brushes. We'll just call it encyclopedias. And I forgot to do the maximum size to 300. Okay. And then let's do a like collection of comic books. I'm just gonna clear this and start anew. Make sure I'm in my drawing brush set, not my new patterns. to start off with a bunch of thin comics. get just a whole bunch of them. do some of the thick comic next to it here. Duplicate that over. could get one more of these comics in actually. Okay, and then let's just get some variations in 
these wider ones. this one have like one of those connected binders or uh spines I mean you know whenever the series has an overall picture when you have the whole set together so high but I do Since it's the same series, we're going to copy and paste these over. down here and erase away these intersecting lines. Okay, I think that's what I want to do. Let's do the flip this. ever so slightly on the want. Okay, but that fixed it.
Here we go. I forgot to copy. Import base. Invert. Um. Oh, did I not save it? Okay, there we go. Turn up the spacing. 50% streamline, 100% stabilize. Turn off opacity. Maximum size. 300. What is staying in this one comic? Mm, there seems to be a bit Well, this one turned into a triangle for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I am good with the book brushes. I think we have enough that we can make a pretty convincing and intriguing library. Um, with just the sets that we have. So we made the, like, fantasy books with some comics. We've got the, uh, the manuals here. The encyclopedias. And just the comics by themselves. I don't know why the resolution on this canvas is like this. I'm gonna have to go make sure it's the same as the other canvas. But yeah. So we've got enough to make a convincing library, I think. And because they're shaped the way they are, I can also stamp them in as need be to give variation. Okay, now the other types of brushes that I'm going to need for the entire series is I need like a brain pattern brush and a synapse pattern brush. So let's go take care of those now. Let me make sure I'm in my drawing brushes. Okay. Now I just need to pull up a reference of a human brain. Human brain. I got something. Yeah. 
<laughs> Where should I start this pattern? I have to keep in mind the edges when I make it. They're more tightly woven than that. In fact, they're really kind of... Mostly... Uh, packed in... Matter? enlarge this because I don't need to have that complex a pattern for where it's going. is a little too thick after all. to the space where I'm going to have to start thinking about the edges. up here at top has to follow through here at the bottom. I think what I'll do is I'll do the edges on their own layer. Not gonna work. Okay. 
I'm just gonna have to think about it. I need to have... This will be my reference. Oh, it kind of peeking through like this. these down get our next layer going trying to figure out this top layer This is our reference down here. Do a new layer for the side. Duplicate this. We'll use it as reference over here.
Okay, let's test it. Okay, yeah, there's still some work to do with the side-to-side -side seam. I'm close, but it looks like I'm off by a little bit. So let's operate on the second one here. I'll try to get it to match a little better. Gotta remember to turn our brush down. I think that seam is fixed. I just need to make sure I'm placing it proper. Okay, let's check the other seam. I forgot, I'm not supposed to flip that. There we go. Now let's just bring those a little closer together.
Okay, I do have some fixing to do on this line as well, I think. But it's looking pretty good so far. All right. Let me go back to my singular layer here. Out of time for today though so we'll have to come back to it or i will have to work on it another time let's come over here okay thank you everyone for stopping by today and exploring making new brushes with me I had a lot of fun and i learned a lot I will keep working on these and uh, we'll go from there. So we won't be streaming tomorrow, but we will be back the next day. So we'll see you then. Until next time, space friends. Have fun. <laughs>